Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. And if you've been following my channel and my rhetoric over the last few years, I have been saying that we need more top-level mecha games in the gaming world. I think it's a genre that is very much untapped to. Gigantic robots beating the hell out of each other is something that I can always get behind. And while there have been games that leaned on the mecha genre from like a visual novel sense or even a real-time tactics game... What I am talking about is the over-the-top action mecha combat that is reminiscent of anime that I watched growing up, and certainly Armored Core 6 is a game that offered us some of that in 2023. There have been titles like Project Nimbus and so on and so forth, but I don't feel like we've had enough top-level mecha experiences. However, we will be getting a very exciting one from Amazing Sea Sun Games. The multiplayer action combat mecha title in Mecha Break. I had an opportunity to play a lot of the playtest, and right off the top, when I think about a mecha experience, what I am looking for is the action combat gameplay, the over-the-top nature of mecha to be realized in video game form. That means the traversal, that means flashy combat, that means insane weapons, and I feel like Mecha Break has a lot of that going for it. Now, this is going to be an online-centric game. There's a lot of elements of Mecha Break that we don't know exactly as far as the nuances of it are gonna go, um, and those are the elements any live service online-oriented game that I'm going to be the most cautious about. I talk about that ad nauseum on this channel, but from a fundamental gameplay standpoint, Mecha Break has me absolutely captivated as far as what we can see out of a fast-paced multiplayer action mech title. And right off the top, playing with the controller, I feel like the controls were easy to access, but also gave me a nice feel of the various mecha. Now, at the heart of Mecha Break is the various mechs that you'll be able to utilize, or as called in the game, the Strikers. They have a wide variety of different Strikers that are going to be utilized uh, throughout the entirety of the game, and depending on your play style, how you want to play, uh, different Strikers are going to be more advantageous to use in certain situations. They're going to excel at certain things what you would typically expect out of a game like this, and so far the strikers we've seen have had quite a lot of depth to them. Now, I feel like out of what we've seen so far, the action combat gameplay, as well as the flashiness, which I'm not gonna say flashy gameplay is super, super important, but if you're talking about mecha, if you're talking about robot action at this level, I do think having that genese qua, so to speak, of being vibrant, being a little bit high octane is important for a game like this. This isn't a game that is super grounded. It's a game that is absolutely a little bit out there. And you're getting that uh, with Mecha Break, at least from a gameplay standpoint. Now, I gotta say, they have the various characters and whatnot, and let's just say the characters I feel like are very much designed in the way that live service uh, games be designing characters. And when I say characters, I don't mean the strikers. I mean the actual pilots themselves, the customizability. And it'll be interesting to see uh, how they do develop that in the full game. Um, I also do have to say, as far as narratively, voice acting, those elements of the game really don't hit home with me. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's honestly got a little bit of that cringe and corniness that I've experienced out of, uh, you know, mecha anime from back in the day, but, um, that isn't the biggest element of this game. This game is absolutely centered around the action gameplay and seeing the absolute burst, the melee combat, the missiles, all of that being launched out, it has that vibrance, that flashiness that is so important to creating a compelling mecha experience Experience, where even stuff like the sword strikes have that devastating flair to it uh, that does add quite a lot. As far as the mechas or the strikers themselves go, they've already illustrated a bunch of them for you to check out. The Tricera is one that is going to be one that I think a lot of people do gravitate towards as being more of a tanky class for people to check out. But then you've also got the Falcon, that is more of a light attacker, aerial combat, and transform ready. The Panther, a medium brawler, line breaker, and weapon switch. You've got Aquila, which is a heavy sniper. I think a lot of people will gravitate towards that. There's depth in the mecha that are offered but you'll be able to customize your mech down to its individual parts with precision. You've got paint jobs available as well for your mech, and you're still able to customize that, and I'm sure that'll grow in the future. Choose from a variety of colors, wear levels, glosses, and metallic finishes to showcase your unique style and experience your mech further with patterns and decals to create a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. And 
of course, the pilots are going to be there as well. And, um, again, as far as the pilots go, very much in line with your live service games these days. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I'll also say that while the, uh, playtest had a limited amount of content as far as all the game modes that are available, there's gonna be quite a bit of depth into the modes that have been noted. The game is also gonna feature a 60, uh, player PvPvE, uh, component to it, and I'm sure that's gonna be something a lot of people are gonna be excited to delve into to and the game, from a visual standpoint, it's not super, super difficult to run, but at the same time, I think it's got that technical allure that a mecha game, I'm not going to say it absolutely needs, but if you want to have that flashiness, that vibrance, Mecha Break absolutely does have that. But that is going to be doing it for me. I highly recommend you guys keep this game on your radar. If you're the kind of person like me that you've loved Mecha all your life, I think this is going to be an absolute love letter to you. The playtest at this point has come to a conclusion, but definitely do find Mecha Break Steam page. Add the game to your wishlist and you'll be kept up to date with all the various updates throughout the game. There's going to be a lot of content to be revealed and more updates that they are going to be revealing. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.